We are here coming from the Chamber of Commerce office in Perm, and my guest is City Manager Kelsey Clem. Welcome, Kelsey. Thanks Hi. for being with us Good on morning. the Perm Show. Thanks. Now, last time you were here, there was a lot of construction going on on the streets in Perm, and so we can maybe get an update on, on construction, where that is, and, uh, and then there are other things going on that we can talk construction. Right. Uh, last summer, last time you were here and interviewed me, uh, we were wrapping up the 2nd Street project and we're getting started on the Water Tower project. And that's what's uh, still going on this summer too. The Water Tower project is a, is a new water tower going up out in Arvig Park on the north side of town. Uh, the construction completion date is scheduled in October. Uh, part of that project was also two new wells that were installed. Um, and the tower itself will be uh, about 150 feet when it's all completed. So it'll be uh, quite a structure on the, wow. on, the, on the skyline of Perm. And, yeah. Uh, now, w can you just uh, tell me where um, you said north side of town in Arvig Park. Now, I kind of zero in on that kind of blue golf ball that's there now for the Perm water tower, um, especially when Jill Shipman's sitting up on top of it. Right. Is that right. going to be, is that going to still be used? Yep. Uh, the current tower is about 500,000 gallons, and that will still be used. That'll still be on the system. Uh, the new tower is about a million gallons, and uh, it'll provide that extra capacity. And actually, this summer, with the demand that we've had from our industries, we've been using about uh, a million and a half uh, wow. gallons per day, which you know you usually want about a day's worth of capacity in your in your towers. So we're going to be right at that actually once we get this thing online. And and thankfully, last fall our two new wells went online, so we've been able to keep up. What a wonderful problem to have that much yeah, economic development. And, and you've got a, a construction development too? Uh, you, you know, it, it is summertime, so it's construction season. And the other big project we have is what's called Clearwater Estates First Edition. Uh, a lot of people also refer to it as the hospital project. Uh, yeah. Perm Memorial is looking to build a new hospital with a groundbreaking this fall. Part of that project is, uh, was basically getting infrastructure out to the site and what we're looking at in Clearwater State's first edition is a 60-acre site for the hospital and uh, infrastructure including uh, the expansion of Coney Street, which runs by the middle school, mm -hmm. which is uh, east and west by the, uh, the middle school over to like, Dean Supermarket. Uh, that will now be extended north all the way up to Highway 34, um, almost providing a, a loop around town. Uh, along with that will be some uh, residential streets. Uh, there'll be about 38 more residential lots made available. Amazing. So there's a, a lot of happening with that project. And, well, again, and the hospital is such a beautiful, beautiful plan that they have. And to be able to see that from Highway 10 too. It will be a, it'll be a real attraction for Perm to have that oh. right off of Highway 10 and uh, yeah. great visibility. And uh, so we've been busy. It's, it's going to be a busy summer and a lot of things going on. What about you know, we got to talk budget because these are expensive projects, that's, I'm sure. That's true. Investments, and I should say. These are, are big investments. Big investments. In the future for them. Right. You know, the budget discussion has been revolving around uh, the state budget uh, because yes. we get local government aid uh, from the state of Minnesota. And as you know, uh, a balanced budget wasn't adopted. Uh, and maybe by the time this is aired, uh, the governor may have already uh, announced their unallotments. But that's a concern for all Minnesota cities that, you know, those who are getting LGA uh, where that unallotment comes out is, is a real concern for us. Um, now, the governor says the city should use reserves and I, their own, their own uh, reserves that they have on hand. And I know we're going to run out of time, got less than a minute yet, but sure. does Perm have that? We or? have about three months worth of reserves. And okay. you got, what you got to remember is our reserves is also our cash flow account. Um, so when we only get paid from LGA and property taxes, uh, you know, five or six months in between uh, getting payments, we have to have at least three months in reserves to cash flow. Sure. So while he's calling it reserves, it's cash flow. So okay. it, it's not necessarily free money that we can tap into. I see. Uh, but it, it, back in January, the governor had a, a recommendation of about $170,000 in, in LGA cuts for the city of Perm. Um, now with him making that decision, we don't know if that's what it's going to be. Right. You know, we have but, to, it's kind of wait and see. Right. We're yeah. going to have to tune in next time. Exactly, and yeah. see where it goes. And uh, yeah. Sorry we'll to cut you off, but we're going to run out of time for sure our, our time. But thanks so much, Kelsey Clem, thanks for coming. City Manager for Perm. And, uh,
My next guest is Chuck Johnson, and he's the EDA. Uh, I'm sorry, I forgot that. <laughs> EDA director. For Thank the city you, of Perm. EDA director for the city of Perm, and we're going to talk about uh, specifically three projects concerning economic development. And I'm just going to let you launch into it. Okay. Good morning. Um, it's Perm has been pretty busy uh, recently, and, and despite the fact that the economy is out there and. and and of course, the KLN industries have been the real strong driving Absolutely. force in that. And, and there's an expansion underway right now at Barrel of Fun. It's the third expansion in the last five years. The first one being the construction of their brand new facility. An expansion occurred, a 30,000 square foot expansion occurred about two years later. And they're doing another 78,000 square feet right now. It's this amazing. Summer. I just drove by there the other day. And, and is that going to be more jobs, Chuck? Yes, that'll be about a hundred new jobs. Wow, that's yep. amazing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And and then I heard you talk about a, some some other food, Sunwise. Sun Sunwise Foods is, is a new company that'll be starting. Boy, in the next few weeks, really? they're, they're going to be starting. There's a, the the bad story, good story. Bad story is that the Nelson Confection Chocolate Factory left town about two months ago, and the good story is that going into the same building as Sunwise Foods. Oh, yes. And, and Sunwise is, is an, it, it's a, they're at an intriguing place in the marketplace right now. Uh, they're going to manufacture something very similar to a peanut butter and jelly sandwich for school lunches, except it's not peanut butter, it's sun butter made from sunflower seeds. I've tasted that. It's good. Okay, excellent. Yeah. And, and, and uh, the, the difference being that the schools are scared of peanut butter and gel, peanut butter these days because mm -hmm. of the allergens with peanut butters and, and, and the, uh, the sun butter doesn't have those allergens. And, and so Sunwise is hoping and expecting to be able to capitalize on, on, on a large school market across the United States. And, and what, what are we talking with that for jobs for Pearl? Uh, they'll be starting out with eight jobs. Okay. And that'll be once again located in the Nelson Confection Building. Which will they? Is, excuse me. Will they do any retail then, or? Nope, nope. That won't be any retail. It'll, it'll, it'll be just be strictly to totally school lunches. Manufacturing those. Yeah. Those lunches. I'm not yeah. sure if that's what you use the term you use manufacturing when it pertains to food products, but yeah. I imagine. Yeah. 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 And and then you have have a third thing that uh, you're. There, there's a project that's a construction project that's underway in the industrial park right now with. Joe and Lori Dahl have JNL Nutritional Consulting, wow. which is dealing with with ag sales to, for dairy farms and, and and cattle operations. And Joe and Lori have sort of operated out of their home uh, for a large period of time, and, and they have a sales force, several people on their sales force, and they decided it was time to consolidate all that. And and so they're constructing a new facility in the industrial park, and it acts as an office for them. And it acts as a, as a shipping and, and, and uh, a receiving and shipping point for them for the for the feeds and seeds that they're selling. Well, uh, and, they, and they sell across the, the whole Upper Midwest here. They they of course in Minnesota and they're in Wisconsin and North Dakota and Iowa. So they have a, a large territory that, that they're selling to. Um, and then they can recapture their home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So anything else that you have, uh, Chuck, that uh, you'd like to? I know we always run out of time when we talk, yeah. but. One of, you know, the, the, one of the real question marks, and I don't know the answer to that right now, is what's going to happen this summer with our retail? Uh, now, last summer, it was pretty scary coming into last summer with $4 gas, and people are saying, what's going to happen? Our retail community did fairly well with that. I uh, think so, yeah. yeah. And, 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 and we're sitting on the verge of another summer right now, and of course, gas is a little cheaper than it was, but the economy is worse than it was. and, and uh, it's a real intriguing, and I don't know the answer to that. It, 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 the summer will, what's going to happen is going to happen. Well, this is always just such a, a wonderful destination for people. I know that there are a lot of folks back uh, in their lake cabins that, that watch TV3, and so they support local merchants. And, that, that's and, very important, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And yeah. I know, you know, every business is in a different place, not just with the economy, but, but you know, the personal and everything. So, so it may have the economy may have been tougher on some than others so yeah, yeah, so yeah. yeah but it looks it looks uh, still a great wonderful lots of specialty shops to yep. to shop at it, and it, I mean, the, the good thing is that, that the, the shops there's enough there's economy of scale there to attract yep. a lot of people and and, and that that's 
that's, that keeps feeding itself, and that's Resorts, good. Resorts, camping, tenting, people are having staycations, and yeah. Perm is the place to do it. Well, Chuck Johnson, thank you so much for hey, being with welcome. us on sure. the Perm Show and filling us in on what's going on. 